Good morning. Welcome to day two of Crochet Myth. I'm so glad you're here. I did a little bit of readjusting today. I've added some lights because it is dark outside because it is winter time. And I brought my microphone closer to me. Last time when I was watching the replay, I felt like it was not quite loud enough. Um, so I do have the microphone closer to me. So if you need to adjust your volume, that's why. I'm excited for day two. Today, well, let's start with yesterday first. Yesterday was day one and we made little Santa gift pockets. I've been seeing your all's pictures on Instagram and I love them. I've been sharing the ones that I've been tagged in. Some of them were sent to me privately via DMs and some of them I saw on Facebook. So these are looking so cute. A couple people did make crochet mustaches by following the pattern that's on my blog from Champagne something something that guest posted. Um, all of that is in yesterday's replay. All of the replays will be available on YouTube and at a craftyconcept.com forward slash crochet miss. I just have to upload it there, but they'll all be there as well. So that's an easy thing to remember. Welcome, welcome everybody coming in. So happy to see you guys. Lots of familiar faces from yesterday. Fantastic. And today we're going to be making a jumbo mini stocking. So this is the mini boho stocking pattern, but I use blanket yarn and chunky faux fur. And so now it's big. And I did make the little. This little guy I just haven't attached it yet, but there it is. Very cute. And today I'm actually going, so this was the um, Burnett Blanket Pet yarn. So it's a little bit thinner than their regular blanket yarn. Uh, the, the thickness I'll show you when I pull the camera over. So this today's is going to be even bigger. So it's going to look really, really cool. Thank you. And the, uh, um, this is a free pattern on my blog. It's just the Christmas light pattern. And then I squish them all together on a chain, like a chain, um, uh, just a chain, like single crochet chain, just no single crochets. And then, uh, string them on there and squish them together. And it's giving, it's giving Christmas Statue of Liberty. And I love it. And I wear them every year, usually to my Chris, my church's ugly Christmas sweater party. This is my ugly Christmas sweater party accessory. And it's also... Um, something I used to wear to holiday markets because it's a conversation starter and people loved them. But I will give you a warning. If you do wear Christmas light headbands to your holiday markets this year, make sure you bring some to sell because people will be obsessed with them and they will want to buy them. And feel free to mix up the colors. These are traditional colors, but you could also do pastel rainbow, tr tropical, whatever's on brand for your business. You could absolutely do that with your Christmas lights and your customers will love it. So that's a little extra bonus tip for us this morning. Okay, excellent. Let's jump in, Anthea. Let's jump in and see what we need to make our jumbo mini boho stockings. But before we do that, I would like to invite you to stay till the end of this video because at the end of this video, we will be doing our giveaway. Yesterday's giveaway winner was Megan and she won some crafty stickers. Today's giveaway is going to be a notebook that says yarn is the girl's best friend and it's just a blank notebook inside that you can use to take notes make lists sketch out things all the things um i dropped my schedule and this is going to also be open internationally so i will ship this to you wherever you are at if you are the winner and you will also get one of my family's christmas cards as well i'll just slip it right in there I have these available at a craftyconcept.com forward slash Amazon. If you do not win and you would like to purchase one, we also have planners there, quarterly planners, and the new 2024 content calendar will be there within a day or two. So that's coming very, very soon. Very exciting. Okay, now we can jump into what we need. So I'm just going to pull my other camera over. I did add lights today. So hopefully... It's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Fingers crossed. Um, choo -choo. Okay. Okay, good. Once I add my hands in there, it gets a little bit better. So we are going to be using a nine millimeter crochet hook. This is the one I'm using for my blanket yarn. If you wanted to use a different size, totally fine. This doesn't have to fit anything. So it's okay if you want to mix up your yarn and hook combo. We're going to be using a tapestry needle. This is the biggest one that I have. I'm going to be using some faux fur yarn for the trim. If you don't want to use faux fur yarn, you can use blanket yarn and just follow the same pattern, but with blanket yarn, it's no problem. 
Um, this one is Hobby Lobby's brand, which is called, I uh, put it in the email. I can't remember what it's called, but it's Hobby Lobby's brand. And also in the email, I linked some substitutions if you don't have Hobby Lobby's brand that you guys can check out. And then, of course, my blanket yarn. This one is a uh, Burnett blanket yarn. And I think it's Baby Sparkle is what it, Burnett ba blanket yarn, Baby Sparkle. And it's, it's like a sparkly hot pink, which I love it. I think it's going to make a super cute stocking. Yeah, for the moment. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you liked the content calendar, Natural Creations. It is uh, new and improved this year. You'll also need a pair of scissors. And I, I went ahead and printed out the pattern. We will be following the exact same pattern as the mini boho stocking. I'm just changing up the yarn and hook combo. You can find this for free on my blog. Sierra is going to come in hot with all of the links as I say them. It's going to be a little fast, so you might have to scroll back through. You can find it for free on my blog, or you can get the ad-free PDF in my Etsy shop for only $3. And then you can print it off and have it um, on paper or look at it digitally without ads. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to go ahead and flip. I know most of it. I just want to have this next to me just in case for some reason I get confused. I just made one the other day, so it should be fairly fresh on my mind. Okay. Oh, also, also the giveaway is only, you you can only enter if you're live. So if you're catching the replay, there's no point in like putting in the giveaway question because it's, I can't, they, they won't be submitted after I press the little button here live. So if you are catching the replay, no giveaway for you, but there is the notebooks in my Amazon shop if you want to check them out. And also, we will be doing giveaways every day for the 10 days of Crochet Miss. So hopefully, you can catch one live. The, the, the schedule has a whole bunch of different times, and that's by design because I'm trying to reach a variety of people and their schedules and all of the things. Oh, fingers crossed, a Angie. So tomorrow's is at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today's and yesterday's was at 10 a.m., but tomorrow's is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hopefully, hi, Heather. Hopefully one of these is better for, for people watching the replays right now. Um, good to know that the 2024 content calendar is available soon. The 2023 calendar was so helpful. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. That makes me so, so happy. Okay, we are going to start this pattern by making a magic circle and half double crocheting 12 into the center of our magic circle. So here I'm going to do it nice and slow with you guys. I cross my yarn like this, and then I hold it with my thumb right there. And then I insert my hook into the circle and grab my yarn and pull up a loop. Now I'm going to readjust my hands here. And this is how I hold my yarn. I know it's weird. Most people don't hold their yarn like that. But we're going to go for a half double crochet. Yarn over or under. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever tickles your fancy. It does not matter. And then insert your hook into the magic circle. Grab your yarn again. Pull up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook. One, two, three. Yarn over or under, whatever you prefer. I got a hair in there. Just gonna pretend it's not there. And pull through all three loops on your hook for a half double crochet. Hard to see with the blanket yarn, but that's how you do it. Yarn over or under. I'm just gonna say yarn over, but if I yarn a different way, don't even worry about it. Just how I taught myself. I made three mini boho stockings for some little kids at my church and they turned out so cute. Ugh, I love it. That's two. We're going to put 12 half double crochets in the center of this circle. Three, four, five, six. Yay, I'm glad you found some yarn. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. It's like an exercise video. <laughs> 11 and 12. Great. Now this next part can be a little tricky with blanket yarn. So be very um, slow and gentle. We are going to close up our magic circle. So to do that, you're just going to grab your tail and give it a little tug kind of gently because if you tug it too hard, it will pop. It's not wanting to close really gently. Oh, there she goes. I can feel it. Okay. There we go. And look, it's still not perfect. But we can do it when we sew in our tail 
we can make sure to close it up a little bit more. It's gonna pop. Oh no, okay, we're good. It's like a jack in the box. There we go, nice and closed. Now we're gonna insert our hook into the top of the first half double crochet. That is where we are going to join, like so. And then we're gonna chain one. We are not going to turn our work. We only turn our work before and after every bobble row. So just the bobble rows is when we're gonna turn our work before and after every bobble row. I wonder if that's affecting my lighting. I'll leave it in the corner. What about, I'm gonna leave it right there. That might be helping. Okay. Yeah, magic rings can be difficult. If you don't like it, you can just chain two and then put your half double crochets in the first chain or chain three and put your half double crochets in the first chain, however your tension works. For row two, we're going to have double crochet increase in each stitch around going from 12 to 24 stitches. If you need a stitch marker, you can use one, but we're not going to be in the round. So I don't use stitch markers unless I'm in the round, really. <clears throat> so depending upon where you put your first stitch is going to differentiate where you end. We can either start here or end here. So it doesn't really, you'll see as you get going. So I'm just going to start um, right here. This, this next one over, but it, it really doesn't matter. As long as you get 24 in there, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch, grab my yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. That's one. And we're going to do it again for two. And we're going to do that all the way around, two stitches in the same spot. And you might be asking yourself, Ashley, why would I need to make a jumbo mini stocking? I'm so glad you asked. So Somebody on Instagram showed me that they did this, and I wish I could remember who it was. And if she comes back to me and was like, hey, that was me, I will be for sure to give her an official shout out. But she said that she made the jumbo, the mini stockings, but jumbo in place of the full size stockings. So she sells them as like regular family stockings, but she uses this pattern. And why would you want to do that? Because one, people think chunky stuff is cool. There, I remember a, a couple years ago, um, one, one of the bigger accounts that I followed, I can't remember her name, but it started with an L. She made these chunky knit Santa hats and they blew up and she was selling them and doing the design. She was doing both. And then the only reason I remembered it is because the other day I was looking on Timu and they were using her pictures. They had stolen her pictures. It happens to me all the time. The overseas stuff, they just steal our pictures. Um, and it, made me, it remem reminded me of those hats and I remember how much everybody was like going crazy over them a couple years ago. Like people just like chunky things. They look cool. They are like different. They catch your eye. So that's one thing about it. Two, you can make these much faster than you can make the original Crafty Boho stockings, the full size ones. These will work up much faster. And if you can make them faster, that means you can get more of them made in the short window of holiday shopping season, right? So you will be able to maximize your holiday profits for the year. So anytime that we can do something faster that doesn't affect quality, right? We're not trying to make junky products. Um, that's going to be a win for handmade business owners that are selling their handmade things. That's the hardest part um, about handmade is we have to physically make the item. Most like re retailers, they don't. They just sell they buy wholesale and then they sell them. Let's count. I think we're at 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Excellent. We're going to squeeze the last two right there in that little space. One and two. You could also use multiple colors for your stocking and you could make your toe and your heel a different color than your body if you wanted to. I like the look of the solid color ones. I think um, two-tone would be super cute too if you wanted to make one and tag me in it so I can see because I think it would be really super cute. Kim said she made one with the blanket yarn and she loved it. Um, I think it's a great idea. I don't know why, like it literally never crossed my mind. And I, I try to mix up the yarns for all of my patterns just because it's almost like a whole new pattern. Just a little knot. Cool, cool. Um, and I, I would never thought to do the mini stocking. So I think it's, I think it turns out really fun. And I will show you an extra bonus at the end of, of how you can use these things. Sierra, don't let me forget. Okay. Um, now I'm going to join into the top of my first half double crochet. 
and chain one. Now we're going to do rows three and four, and we're just going to half double crochet one time in each stitch all the way around, again for a total of 24 stitches. So two rows of half double crochets all the way around for 24 stitches. I listed the mini boho stockings in my fairly new Etsy shop this season, and I sold two right away. That's fantastic, Deborah. Good job. You must have used some stellar keywords and pictures, my friend. Way to go. Okay, so I'm going to try to hide that knot on the inside of my work. There we go. Nikki Slinky. Let's see. Oh, Sierra. I was going to do music. And I, for, I forgot. Is there any way that you can do that on your end? Is that possible? Let me know. Feel free to either private chat me or put it in the chat box. I will try. Thank you, Queen. Some, some um, instrumental Christmas music. That's what we want. I totally forgot, you guys. Uh, Yesterday, Gabe and I had date night. We've got a babysitter and everything. We haven't done that in forever. Um, we need to do it monthly. My pastor says we need to do it monthly. Everybody needs to do it monthly, but we just, it's hard with a, an only child. Um, you'd think, why well, is it any harder? It just is. We just feel guilty for leaving her. Um, but we got a babysitter and she had so much fun. I knew that she would. And we went to eat dinner and we went to, good morning, Christina. We went to watch the movie, The Shift. It's a new movie put out by Angel Studios about the devil. And it's got, if you watch Hallmark Christmas movies, if you've ever seen a single Hallmark Christmas movie, the main character in that movie is the main character in The Shift. Go Google it after this live because he is, I, I was like, he looks so familiar. And I'm not a big fan of rom-coms, but Gabe is. And I watched like half of one with him, a Hallmark movie rom-com, and he was the main character in I just remembered his face for some reason. I thought he was the guy from Fringe, but it's not him. I love that guy. Um, he's in, I went to look at what he's in and it was like a bazillion Hallmark Christmas movies. I think we need to do one more. I'm just going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yes. One more for 24. <clears throat> the movie was pretty good. It was nice to get out too. Join into the top of the first half double crochet, chain one, and now row four. We're going to do the exact same thing. Look how cute. I love pink. I love it. Okay, I'm going to put my first one in this stitch this time instead of I was like going to the next one, but all that's going to change is my last stitch will be here instead of right up next to my hook. Love the headband. Thanks, Queen. These are perfect for markets. I'm telling you, if you have a holiday market and you are introverted and you don't, like my sister is extremely introverted and has a little bit of social anxiety and she has a service animal and he is a St. Bernard dog. And I was like, that's going to draw more attention to you when she like, this was like seven or eight years ago. And I was like, if you have social anxiety, why would you want to draw more attention to you? It doesn't draw attention to her. It draws attention to her dog and she feels better about it. This will draw attention away from you to your headband. It will be an easy conversation starter. It's a great way to break the ice with your potential customers at holiday markets. People will love them, um, but make sure you bring some to sell because they will ask for it. Um, I almost sold it off my head one year. I was like, I, I don't think I offered it to her because I really wanted to keep it, but I almost offered it to her and she probably would have bought it because she was very excited about it. Um, it would have been this exact one that I'm wearing right now. And I still, I've been wanting to make me one in a crafty concept colors for like three years now and it still hasn't happened. I think I could spend my entire year of business working on only Christmas stuff. And I think my business would prosper because of it. Um, I just, my creativity won't let me do that. So I don't. What is your least favorite and favorite crochet stitches? Thank you, Mar Mariah, like Mariah Carey. Thank you for asking a question. Um, my favorite, oh, Sierra's trying to get some music for us. Does it have to be in the video? We hear you, Sierra. 
we hear your typing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it does have to be on the video. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to change it without uh, just I showing need, you. I need you physically here. I know. In Kentucky. I'll just drive seven hours really quick. Real quick. Just teleport. <laughs> what if we, um, is there just a direct link? Is that what you texted me yesterday? Yes. I'm going to see if it's in my, my here. Um, let me see. Um, Sierra, here it is. If I just click on that, will it, is that all I need to do? And then it will start playing. Um, I think that just takes you to your audio library. You might have to type in Christmas instrumental. Okay. Okay. Sorry, friends. I, this is going to really up level our experience together. <laughs> and it's, it's important. So audio library search or filter library for Christmas search. Okay. I got one. Good. Okay. Let's see if it's got um, words or not. Can you hear that? Can we hear that? Let me know if you can hear that. I can hear it. <laughs> okay. Um, look out one more time. One, two, two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I need to do that too. I've been in two Christmas markets so far, and I have four. Oh, you can hear. Excellent. Thank you, Anita and Thea. And and Thea. Thank you. Okay, good. Excellent. Now it's a party. Now it's a party. Okay, joining to the top of our first half double crochet. Let me know if like the music is too loud and and I'm not loud enough. Let me know. Um, we can turn it down. We can change it up. So just we're winging it. Okay, join into the top of your first half double crochet. And I think we're going to be turning this time. Because I think we are... I'm going to turn it down just a, just a tit. Okay, yeah. Let's try this one. I won't be changing it again. It's just that guitar is like right in my ear. You're welcome. I'm glad you guys can hear it. Perfect. Okay. Um, row five is a bobble row. So we will be turning our work. And single crocheting the other direction. And then after row five, we will turn again. So we're going to start by placing a single crochet in the first stitch. And then we're going to bobble in the next stitch. So to do a bobble, we're going to yarn over or under. Insert into our stitch. Grab our yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. That's one. We're going to do that for a total of four times. Two and again pull through two that's three and last one these are going to be big bobblicious bobble got to kind of squish it in there pull through two that's four okay now we have five loops on our hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all five that completes our bobble stitch whoa that completes our bobble stitch. Now we're going to go directly into the next stitch for a single crochet. We're not going to chain or anything. We're just going to go right into this next stitch here. And I like to keep it nice and tight. So your bobble pooches out in single crochet. And we're going to do that all the way around. Bobble single, bobble single. Ending with the single, I think. 24. No, nope. we'll be ending with a bobble stitch, which isn't my favorite, but it works fine for these little things. So look how big and poppy that is. Once we get some more rows, you'll be able to see it better. So we did single, bobble, single. Now we're going to bobble again. Two. I'm going to get back to your question, Mariah, about my yarn as soon as we get going here. Four is kind of a lot to shove in there. So if you just want to do three, you can probably get away with it. But if you want to try to squeeze it, I think it will be really worth it once we get around. Okay, and single crochet. You know what? I think I'm going to have to... I don't know if I have to keep pushing play. No, it's going. I just can't let it go to sleep. Okay, single crochet. Nice and tight. Ooh, look how big those are. If you have ever worked any of my patterns and you had to physically push the bobbles to the right side, 
it's because you didn't turn your work first. All you gotta do is turn your work before and after every bobble row and you're good to go. Okay, my favorite yarn to use is Yarn Be Soft and Sleek from Hobby Lobby. That's my favorite, like worsted weight number four yarn. It is low pill, which means it's not as fuzzy as um, other, like I love this yarn is not low pill. So it's gonna be more fuzzy than Yarn Be Soft and Sleek. So that is my favorite yarn. If somebody told me, what you could, if you could only use one yarn for the rest of your life, what would it be? Yarn Be Soft and Sleek from Hobby Lobby, hands down. Um, this pattern is on my blog. Sierra will come in hot with the link for you. Sierra, I don't know if it says hat, headband or just Christmas light. It's probably both, actually. They're probably both on there. And my least favorite yarn is, I guess I probably have never used, well, like silky tiny yarn. I made a headband once with a bamboo yarn that was like a two, maybe a three. And it was a Tunisian, so I wanted it to look like knitted, and it was beautiful, but it was such a pain because it was slippery and, and tiny. And I can't see super good right now. Like, I'm, I'm, my vision is not great. Um, so tiny is not great for me. Is the music too loud? Let me know if the music is too loud. I can't let my iPad sleep over here. Three and four. Also, question for you. Is anybody else's bobble stitches making them sweaty? Is that just me? Or is that anybody? Let me know. Let me know if you too are getting a workout from the bobble stitch. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my house shoes off again. That's how I that's how I cool down. Take off my house shoes. Okay, bobble single all the way around. What is your favorite yarn? If you can, you know, drop your work and type it in to come back. What is your favorite yarn to work with? If you've never worked with Yarn Be Soft and Sleek, 10 out of 10 recommend it. I also really like um, faux fur yarn. I like the look of it. I think it's extremely unique and people outside of the crochet community, even inside of the crochet community, uh, don't even know that it's yarn. And it's, it's. I think it makes us a really stellar, especially for like plushies or blankets or loveys, things like that. Deborah said, that's the yarn I'm working with, Double Stranded. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's going to look so cool. Anitha says, Lion Brand's Wool Ease and Blanket yarn. She's all about the big yarn, I hear you. She likes big yarn and she cannot lie. I love this yarn, it's Lila's favorite. Lila, Lil, Lila used to be my favorite until I started using Yarn Be Soft and Sleek. It was my favorite for years. Oh, I do like I love this cotton. Very soft, very silky. My second favorite cotton is Dishy from We Crochet. Uh, once you wash it, it feels like your favorite pair of jeans. Cool, getting a workout. Also, these lights probably aren't helping. Three and four. I can't wait to see your all's mini boho stockings. Ugh. Especially the yarn be soft and sleek with the double strand. I bet it's gonna look so cool. I do too, Anthea. I do too. I wish Hobby Lobby would at least ship everywhere. And I, every now and then, I get I have a contact at Hobby Lobby who asks me to do little polls, and they pay me to do polls for you guys in my story, so you guys can give them some feedback. Every year, I tell her we need international shipping, and every year I tell them they need an ambassador program. Like if Hobby Lobby was like, Ashley, we would love to pay you to, to be our ambassador and we will give you all the yarn that you need to make your projects and we will pay you to create patterns in our yarn. But but you have to be exclusively only using Hobby Lobby yarn. I would say sold. You got it. Done. I will do that for you. Um, and I tell her that every year that we've done it three times now. And I tell her every time and it still hasn't happened yet. They really need to get in the community. And then this last time they um, got rid of a bunch of yarn. So I don't know if they're maybe like preparing to bring in some new yarn. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But it was stressing me out. Okay. I wish I knew how to make my iPad not sleep easily. Okay, moving right along. I know that Lion Brand has ambassadors, or at least they used to. I don't know if they still do, but I think Hobby Lobby's yarn is so superior that they could just branch off 
and open little Hobby Lobby yarn stores. Just yarn. Leave your home decor, leave your other crafts, just open little yarn stores all over. I think it would do really well. Or just sell yarn internationally. Like, come on. Yes, I did. It was during Crochet Boss Academy this year. I love that they do that because it's letting me know that they care about their what they're providing for the community. You know what I mean? I think that's important. I think that speaks volumes of the business. Is posting on Instagram with the hashtag you gave yesterday a good way to show or makes? Yes, Deborah, that's a perfect way. I need to follow that. I forgot to follow that hashtag yesterday, but I will remember to do it today. And I will for sure um, be sharing. I didn't even think about that. Yes, that's an excellent way to show it to me. And I will um, be following it and then sharing from there as well. Good reminder. Okay, this is our last stitch of the row. And normally I don't like ending a row on a bobble. It's just not my jam. Um, but we're going to do it for this one. We're going to go directly into the top of our first stitch, which was this single crochet here. Sierra looks at the hashtag. Excellent. Okay, pulling it up. Chain one. And now we're going to turn our work for row six. You're going to turn your work before and after every bobble row. Look at those bobbles. Looks like a little flower bonnet. I love it. Now we are going to half double crochet one time in each stitch all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. The, my first half double crochet is going on top of my bobble because that was the last stitch that I did in the previous row. One. We're going to do that all the way around for a total of 24. And we're gonna do this for three rows, six, seven, and eight. And then we're gonna do another bobble row. And then we'll compare the sizes too of the blanket yarn versus the pet blanket yarn. So three rows of 24 half double crochets. If you are on the email list, uh, Kat, Chastity, I added you after the email was already sent out today. But for everybody who was on and got this morning's email, there is a freebie for you in there. I'm trying to send out freebies every with every email that if there's one that goes with the pattern. And this this pattern comes with a marketing tips freebie to help you. Like it's got some keywords that you can use on Etsy. It's got ways to promote them to your customers, things like that. So that is in your inbox if you are on the email list. And if you're not on the email list, Sierra is coming in hot with the link for you. So you can sign up, even if you're watching the replay, sign up to the email list if there's still, if you're within the first 10 days of December 2023, and you will get the freebies, you will get links, you will get yarn substitution ideas. Like there's all kinds of fun stuff that comes in the emails each morning. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. We are almost to the end of this row. Okay, two more stitches because we should be ending in a single crochet, the top of a single crochet because of the way the previous row is. Okay, join it to the top. And then chain one and do not turn your work. Here we go join and chain one and don't turn we're going to do another row of half double crochets just a little pro tip a little pro tip for if you wanted to change the look of your stockings you could go in the camel hump for this next row the middle the middle um the, well actually the last two you could camel hump and then you will get a horizontal line right there that will look like the top of your stitches like it'll look like this but pooched out like this on the top of your work. So it would be like V's all the way around if you wanted to. The camel hump is this guy right here. This guy right here, that's the camel hump. So these are, the, this is the front loop right here. It's kind of hard to see with um, the blanket yarn. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. And then this, if you pull those two forward, this right here is the camel hump, right here. And if you put your hook into that stitch, instead of these two stitches, it will move it forward. It creates some new design. It will look very neat and fun. Just gonna throw that out there. 
we're going to keep it, keep it playing here for this video. We're going to do 24 half double crochet. Thank you, Natural Creation. I've been making a lot of the mini stockings on your blog, having so much fun making them. Just have to line them now. Very cool. Love that extra step to serve your people. That's excellent. So fun doing these, Lee. I'm so glad you're enjoying it, Claire. Gabe and I are currently watching Lost together in the evening times before we go to sleep. We watch an episode of Lost because he's never seen it. Um, and if you've been around for any sort of time, you know that my all of my beanies, I have four beanie patterns on my blog. All four of them are named after Lost characters. We have the Claire Bun Beanie and Claire here just reminded me with her name. And the Kate Bun Beanie and the Juliet Bun Beanie. Gabe hasn't met Juliet yet because we're only on season one. Juliet comes in like season three or four. And then the Charlie Hat, which is the only one named after a boy in Lost. But when he, when the different characters were being introduced to like Gabe for the first time, I was like, her name is Kate, Kate Bunbini. And he was like, oh yeah, <laughs> he, he's, he's very um, encouraging. Like he doesn't pretend like he doesn't, he's not interested in what I do, but he's not like on it either. So he was like, gotcha. And he, he I don't know. It was a sweet thing. He hasn't met Juliet yet though. And I'll tell you, I thought my Kate Bunbini was going to be the one everybody liked. And Kate was my favorite character. So I named my favorite hat style Kate. And then Claire blew up. Claire was the one that went viral. And so now when I see that pregnant lady on Lost, I'm like, thank you. Thank you, Claire, for inspiring the beanie that changed my business. It's a fun, it's a fun time. Okay, I'm really not sure how many. I think that's 24. 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Excellent. Okay. Joining to the top of your first half double crochet. If I can get it in there. Okay. Another tip with the blanket yarn, you got to use your fingers. I like to be able, like I could tell that it wasn't under the loops because of this finger back here. I could tell where it was popping out at. You can kind of feel the, whatever it is that all these little fibers are attached to. It's like a tiny string. You can kind of feel it. Um, so that's a tip for this is Bernat blanket yarn, baby sparkle is what it is. And it's pink. It's like a bright pink. I can't remember the name of it, but I have a new skein up there, but it's the only bright pink one that they have. Thank you, Sierra. Okay. One more row of 24 half double crochets, and then we're going to get ready for another bobble row and then almost ready to get to the heel. So we're making our way. I think maybe if I put this in the floor, it will be... I should have pulled from the center. How many days am I going to make that mistake in a row? What's going on? Okay. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Hands down, Debbie. You, nobody's going to expect this from me. Do you guys want to guess? Do you want to guess for a minute? Because I have one and it's not even on people's radar as a Christmas movie. And it's got the word Christmas in the title. I was talking to Mackenzie the other day, uh, Monday, I guess, and she had never seen this movie. No, I think it was, a, I can't remember what day it was. Maybe it was Wednesday. She had never seen this movie. And I was like, shook, shocked. What is the word that kids use? I was shocked. I have Home Alone number one on right now. So Home Alone is Ava's favorite Christmas movies. We watch them all year long. One, two, and three. She likes one, two, and three. Happy Saturday, Kathy. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. My favorite Christmas movie, and if you've never seen it, you have to go watch it. Like, it's on Amazon Prime, I think, or Peacock, or who? It's on Hulu. Four Christmases. Tell me in the comments if you have watched Four Christmases and if you love it. It is with Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon and Tim McGraw and the mom from Elf. No. Yes, the mom from Elf, um, Buddy's biological dad's mom. She's in there. She's also in Talladega Nights. She, it's got everybody. Debbie loves that one. It is hysterical. And Gabe and I quote that movie all year long. We, we make multiple, multiple references to that movie all year long. I love it. It is so fun. Claire, you got to go watch it. Um, as far as I can remember, it doesn't have any like nasty parts. I can't, there might be a little bit of language, like just a tiny bit. Um, Tim McGraw's dad might curse at one point. I think he might say like, 
H E double hockey sticks at one point. It is so funny. Beverly, is it not funny? Is it not funny? Like it is the funniest, the funniest show. I love it. I can't remember if we watch it with Ava or not. I think we probably do, but I don't think it's got any like nasty parts in it. It's probably, I don't know the rating. I'm going to put in, I think this is where my last one needs to go. And then we'll double count them. Let's see where we're at. Double check by counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's what we're going for. 24, yes? Yes. Excellent. Join into the top of our first half double crochet. And chain one. And now the most important part that I believe gets missed a lot. Turn your work. Welcome, Simply Living. I'm glad you could make it. Kathy's favorite is It's a Wonderful Life. Um, I'm going to have to be reminded of that one. Anitha and Thea, you're going to have to watch it. It is so funny. Vince Vaughn's facial expressions kill me. So wait, now my favorite scene is when they're playing Taboo. Yes, when they're playing Taboo. That's my favorite scene. Amazing actors, Claire. Amazing actors. It's got the doctor from Elf, the guy that tells Buddy's dad that he just needs to love him more when Elf is eating cotton balls. It's got that guy hysterical like i want to i want to stream it together so we can watch it together it is so funny debbie likes missile oh mistletoe 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 i like the quote that we say all year long they're both from the taboo scene one gabe will say like if if i say something that that can be taken as inappropriate but i didn't mean it like if i said my earrings like my balls my, I have pom-pom earrings that are, but if I said something about the balls on my pom-pom, he'd be like, can't say balls. And that's from the taboo scene. And then another, another one is when the wife of the doctor from Elf, she goes, yes, we say that constantly. Yes. She said, oh, this game is so easy. It is so funny. You guys are going to love it. Really? Okay. Now we are, um, row nine. Yes, row nine, which is another bobble row. So we're going to start with a single crochet and then bobble, single bobble, single bobble all the way around. And then we have one more row of half double crochets before we hit the heel. So I'm going to single crochet here in the first stitch and then bobble in the next stitch. Let me see if it's going to play another song without me touching my screen. I don't think it is. Okay. You know, we just duct tape it together. That's how I live my life. I duct tape it together and I make it work. Okay. And pull through. Oh, I'm going to have to, I don't remember. Is It's a Wonderful Life got the girl from Matilda in it? And she sees Santa Claus. Is that, is that It's a Wonderful Life? I don't even know if Ava's even seen that one. Maybe I need to show her that one this year. They need a... Uh, more Christmas movies because we watch them like every night starting in November. I think it's the, is it the one with the Matilda or is that Miracle on 34th Street with Matilda? Let's look it up. Sorry, kept it. The Holiday. What's that one about? Uh, does that one also have Reese Witherspoon in it? Have you guys seen Daddy's Home 2? Daddy's Home 2 is a Christmas movie, and it's really funny. Yeah, I think it is, Sierra. I gotta figure out It's a Wonderful Life. I don't even know if I've seen that one. Surely I've seen it. Daddy's Home 2 is really funny. There probably is language in that one. And that one is more along the lines of stupid funny is what I call it, like Talladega Nights. It's not as stupid funny as Talladega Nights, but it's like pushing it, but it's really funny. Gabe loves it. Gabe thinks it's hysterical. He laughs so hard at that movie. The Holiday. Is that Reese Witherspoon? Wow. Oh, we're playing some rock Christmas music now. I'm going to skip that one. That one's not the vibe. Okay. Not the vibe we're going for. You know what? Maybe I need to put a Christmas tree in the background. 
I need a small one to go where my Gracie doll is right now. Oh, I'm gonna get, I have one. I have one that I can put there for tomorrow. It'd be so pretty. Setting the, setting the mood for our Christmas crochet time together. Jack Black and Cameron, Cameron Diaz. That's probably what I was thinking of. I'm gonna have to look it up. Did you guys see that the guy from Home Alone, I think he got a star in Hollywood maybe? I haven't seen that, Debbie. I don't think I've seen that. I'm gonna have to watch that one. I love Jack Black, I think he's hysterical. This is my favorite time of year. It's Gabe's also nat natural creations. Gabe loves Christmas. He has always loved Christmas. Uh, when we first got married, so I loved Christmas my whole life. And then we first got married and Christmas went downhill real fast for me because we had to go all over God's green earth to see every single person that I've not seen all year long, that I barely remember these people's name. We had to go all over God's green earth to see everybody and to make everybody else happy. And it was absolutely, you know what, that, that bobble is a little sloppy. Can you see that? I'm going to redo it. It was exhausting. Um, and so I hated Christmas forever. Like as soon as, soon as Hobby Lobby got their Christmas stuff out in like July, I was like, no, it just equaled horrible time in my brain. And then we had Ava and then we started setting some healthy boundaries and every year it gets better. And this year I really, really like it. Like I'm, I'm back to like, I just ordered three more Christmas shirts. <laughs> like I want to wear only Christmas clothes from November 1st through Christmas. I got a sweatshirt from Timu that, I mean, it's not a sweatshirt, it's a sweater and it's gorgeous and the quality is stellar. And I was pretty surprised, um, but I, I love it now. And also I've started this year, these are my pajamas that I got like two or three years ago, probably three or four. Probably 2019 is when I got these. And they're Victoria's Secret pink. So like the juniors of Victoria's Secret. Um, I've been wearing these pants under my blue jeans that have big holes in them. Like the ones that have big holes. And then you can see, so it's like a pop of Christmas through my blue jean holes. And I love it. I just started doing that this year. And I, I love it. I will do it forever. Just changing up my PJ pants under my blue jeans. Because it's cold anyway. So you might as well bundle up. Two new ones this year, Jennifer Gardner's. Oh, I love her. Both family friendly. Oh, good to know, Debbie. Thank you. Noelle Diary. Isn't that the girl from Sing? Not Sing. Per Pitch Perfect. It's a, It works really well, Anitha and Thea. And then you got a little pop of Christmas coming in. I think it's fun. Okay. Almost got it. I lost my music here. I will download all of these to my iPad and then just have it play like on shuffle or something for tomorrow if I don't forget. You should do it. You should do it, Beverly. Or like Christmas leggings. Like you can buy really cheap Christmas leggings from Walmart. At least you could last year. I don't know about this year. But you could get them for under 10 bucks. And you could wear them under your blue jeans. And it's a win because usually those type of leggings don't have pockets in them. So if they don't have pockets, I'm not wearing them anymore. That's my new life motto. But my blue jeans have pockets. So I can wear my Christmas leggings under my blue jeans with holes in them. Lots of holes. Big old holes. And you can see them. And I, I just think it's cute. I think it's a cute, fun little thing. My fingers are feeling the bobbles. Oh, give them a stretch. Give them a stretch. Maybe we should do some stretches here together. When I, I was, I went to college and graduated with general studies, which just means I took a bunch of different classes and I was able to graduate. But my minor was American Sign Language. And I Grad, I had all the hours for that minor completed, but you cannot graduate with gen studies and a minor. You can't declare a minor. So I have the hours for the minor, but it's not ugh, it's ridiculous. Anyway, in our one of our classes was called finger spelling. And the whole thing was to teach us how to 
spell out words in sign language. And at the beginning of the class, they had us to do like exercises to stretch out our fingers. So if you needed some good exercises for your hands, maybe Google uh, hand exercises for students learning American Sign Language because we did them together as a class. So that might be helpful for somebody. Oh, 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 okay. Pull through all. And then join into the top of our first single crochet, keeping everything nice and tight. Chain one and turn our work. You guessed it. Look. And look at the size difference, too. Can you see both of those? I don't want to move my camera. But, like, look at the difference. Way big. It's way bigger. <laughs> it's hard to tell, but it really is way bigger. Wait, what if I do this? There you go. Look at that. Very cute. Now we're going to do one more row of half double crochets all the way around. And then we're going to start our heel. It plays through the song, but then it won't go to the next one unless I am, my screen is lit up. And I know I can change it in my settings, but I can't do it while I'm doing this. I love these baubles. Also something I learned today is Maria of Maria's Blue Crown is doing a Christmassy thing over on her blog. And she's given out free PDFs, free pattern PDFs. So definitely check her out um, after this live and throughout the first 12 days of Christmas. I'll try to share them in my stories when she shares her when she shares about them. Um, but she is doing that as well. So you can go ahead and start collecting some of her PDFs um, to have. You can check them out on her blog. So that's definitely Maria's Blue Crown. Maybe Sierra can grab a link to her Instagram for you guys. She's a sweetie pie. She is one. She was one of my first um, Instagram friends. Like one that helped me start blogging pretty early on. Deborah says, my stocking with the double strands of soft and sleek is turning out much larger than the mini boho stockings I made this year. I love the look. If I put these in my store, I will definitely line these. Okay, okay, I see. So they're, she's saying hers might be a little holy. Now, I understand that you guys are wanting to line them for people who are wanting to put gifts in them. She is, Sylvia. She's a sweet, sweet girl. Hi, 10 out of 10 recommend. Give her a follow. Sierra, grab the URL for you guys. Um, I understand you're wanting to line these so, like, gifts don't poke through. But if you marketed them as just, like, decor pieces or something like that, you absolutely could get away with not lining them. Because some people might use them in their home decor that's not even on their mantle. Like, maybe they want to just stick them throughout their house as decor, which is totally fine. Also, I wonder if you could buy like really cheap stockings like from the Dollar Tree and stick them inside and make that your liner so you're not having to like sew for the sake of time. Might be something worth trying. Go check out the Dollar Tree or like Walmart's dollar section or something and see if you can find some inexpensive stockings that match your brand and stick them in there. Yes, I turned after the last bobble row. Always turn before and after every bobble row. I'm glad you found it helpful, Claire. That's what I'm here for. Trying to help you out. Okay, let's count and make sure we got 24. I think I do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Perfect. Now we're going to get ready for our heel. So I'm going to join into the top of my first half double crochet and chain one. Now this part is really tricky. So if you are multitasking, just uh, give me give me a little, a little attention for this one part. If you want your stocking to lay like a J, you do not turn your work. If you want it to lay like a backwards J, you do turn your work before you start the heel. So the heel is going to dictate which way your stockings lay. So it's either gonna lay like a J, or like a backwards J. Mine is gonna lay like a J. I will not be turning my work. I will be going this direction. If you wanted yours to lay like a backwards J, you would just turn your work here and you would go from this direction. And that will change where the seam of your stocking goes. Okay, now we're gonna start our heel. I will not be turning my work. Okay, we're gonna have double crochet 12 across 
our heel here. And when I go to finish out the heel, that's going to be a little tricky. So you're just going to have to bear with me because it's hit or miss. I'm going to do the best that I can. I wonder if I turn these lights off, if that would make it worse. How we feel in this lighting? I hate it. If you want me to try turning the lights off, let me know. And I'll give that a try. We're going to have double crochet 12. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, not the vibe, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Chain one. Turn our work. We're going to go back up. We're making the heel portion now. So for row two of our heel, we're going to decrease over the first and last two stitches. So going from 12 to 10. To do a half double crochet decrease, um, I need to probably do it the way I did it in the pattern originally. But sometimes I just make it up. And sometimes I don't do it the way most people do it. If this is different, I apologize. But this is how I'm going to do it. Yarn over, insert into the stitch, grab our yarn, pull up a loop. I guess yarn over again, insert into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all of those. That's fine. Just hope I don't forget. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet or half double crochet down until there's only two left. Such a soft, squishy yarn. I love it. And this song is fun. Okay, two left. So we're going to half double crochet decrease over the last two, just like the same way I did. Feel free to half double crochet differently. I don't see a difference with the lights. I think it's safe to say turn them off. So this is pretty lit up because of the lights. Like you can see like the shadows. So like right here is really lit up because of the lights. And if I turn them off, Things will get darker and potentially blue. We can just try it. Let's take a look. We're just going to do one. I have two set up. Let's see what this one does. I think that's better. Sierra, what do you think? Let me try this other one. Do we like that better or less good? I don't, know. I don't know. We'll go with one for now. Let me turn the music around. How about, how about this? Is that less good? Yeah. Let's just turn it back on. Didn't have this issue last year. And it was the same time of year, like in Kentucky. Okay, row three. We're going to decrease again and then half double crochet down and then decrease again, going from 10 to 8. We'll start with a decrease, then half double crochet down. So in. And there's two left. We will decrease over these last two here. Okay, that is the Christmas vibes. Okay. Chain one and turn our work. So we should have four rows. One, two, three. So row four, we're going to do decrease again. So decrease, half double crochet four, and then decrease at the end. Thanks, Melody. I'm glad you can make it. I had to put makeup on all of my nasty skin problems so i'm gonna go wash it off as soon as this is over well, and then we got four half double crochets one okay you're killing me two three and four and then decrease over the last two get in there okay 
chain one and turn our work. Now for row five, we're going to start increasing again. So we've been decreasing, making it come up to a point, And now we're going to start increasing again. So it's going to be like an hourglass situation. We are in Berea, which is like 30 to 45, about 45 minutes from Lexington. I used to cheer against some girls at Pike County. That's all I remember. Okay, we're going to increase in the first stitch. One and two. Then we're going to single or half double crochet across. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to increase in the last stitch. Maybe. Where is it? I think it's right here. We are already at, a, at an hour. I am, I'm going too slow. Okay, chain one and turn our work. For row six, we're going to increase and then half double crochet six and then increase again, giving us 10 stitches. Increase, half double crochet across for six. One, two, three. Five. I love it too. Natural creations. Six and now increase. And I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Like I, I, I could do it every day. Like if I didn't have to put makeup on, I could do it every day, all year long. It would be crazy. Okay, and chain one and turn our work. Um, I've always worn leggings under my ripped jeans. I love having a different peekaboo vibe. I love a good peekaboo vibe. That is also a reference to Four Christmases, peekaboo. If you if you know, you know. If you haven't watched it yet, you're going to love it. Um, What are we on, seven? Yes. Increase, half double crochet, eight, and then increase for a total of 12 stitches again. So we're working our way back up to 12. I sent some substitution ideas in today's email, but they're all faux fur ideas. Um, they were just different brands of faux fur. You could just stick with blanket yarn if you wanted to. Um, maybe you could do a different color of blanket yarn. Um, you could also try like a Sherpa yarn. Just anything textured, I think, could be really cool. Oh, thanks, Sierra. Cassie, sorry I missed your question. Okay, and then we're going to increase in the last stitch, giving us 12. And I'm going to count them just to double check. One and a two. Chain one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Glorious day. Okay, now we're going to assemble it. And this is the part that I just kind of sometimes make it up as I go. And sometimes it works perfectly, but if it doesn't, I usually just wing it. So we're going to give it a go. So we're going to take the top of our heel and fold it down onto the back of our heel. So the wrong side is going to be on the inside of our stocking. Yeah, stocking. So that's what we're going for. Now, sometimes mine does not stay lined up. So keep an eye on, you want the, the first row, which is your second half double crochet from the bobble, right? We had one row here and then we had, oh my goodness, did I skip a row? a good chance I hope I didn't and you know what I, I did that when I was actually making the how many rows of half double crochet before we go into the heel just one yeah yeah just one we're good then we're going to come back to row 11 once we get done with the heel yeah we're fine Okay, not the vibe. Okay. So we're gonna fold it on itself like this, making sure our first row of heel, because our second row after the bobble, lines up with our last row of heel. That's what we're going for. You can use a clip if you have one. I don't have one near me. I took it to the bathroom to fix this hair. Okay, and then I'm gonna work this way so I can have my, my working yarn here. 
and we are going to half double crochet this edge together. Does not have to be perfect. For one, blanket yarn, you can't even see. And for two, it's on the inside of the stocking. So it's going to be fine. So no reason to panic. Just make sure you're lining up your stitches properly. Like not, make sure you're going in the right rows. Okay. Perfect. And then with the side of the last row right here. And it, so it's the raw edge, so you're making up your own spots, and it's half double crochets instead of single crochets. So it might not be what you're used to. But the only thing you want to try to do is make sure you do the same number on both sides. So it looks like it's going to be like five stitches. I think in the pattern originally I did seven, so I squeezed some more in there. But I think for this one it's going to be five. One. Two. It's like four. Three and then four in that last one. Sealing it up. Sealing it up perfectly so there's no holes. Now this next part is, is a secret. A secret hack. I wonder how many. I really think I did seven. Originally, I don't know how I did that. I squeezed the in there. So now, originally, the pattern says to cut your yarn, tie off, then sew in that tail, and then come over here. Is there a lag? Okay. And then come over here and attach more yarn and do it again. We're not going to do that. We're going to save some time. And we're just going to slip stitch across our heel just to get to this other side over here. So I'm just going to make some spots. It does not have to be perfect, and it needs to kind of be loose. So kind of keep it loose if you can. Okay, let's go here. And it does not matter where you go. Unless maybe if you're using like variegated yarn or something. But I'm going on, on the inside of my thing. So it's not even going through the back. It's just going through a piece of a stitch on the inside. And I'm going to slip stitch down just to get me to the other side. I'm going to try to keep it loose. And I'm going to try to go straight. Yeah. It does not matter where you put your hook. We're just trying to get to the other side so we don't have to add another strand and have more tails. Sneaky, sneaky. And you can do this for all of my stocking patterns. The clear stocking or in, in the full size of this. Almost there. This will be the last one. And then now once we are on the other side, we can single crochet these two sides together, getting joining back down to this bottom. What did I say? Yeah, single crochet. Thank you. Thank you, Sierra. Now we're gonna single crochet. Back down this side, making sure this row lines up with this row down here, which is the second half double crochet row after the bobble. So making sure those line up. We are going to single crochet these together. And I did four stitches on the other side. So I'm going to go for four on this side as well. One. Two. Trying to get between the stitches. Okay. Here for three. And then the last one. It's got to be way down here. It's like we might have got a little uneven, but it's okay. We got it fixed. No problem. Boom. And then we're going to slip stitch down into the body of our into the body of our stocking down here. Just right up close to where we put our heel. And chain one and make it big so we can take a look at it. So now we are going to pop our heels right side out. Boop. Can't see any of that, what we just did. And now this is what we got. Looking so cute. Now we can start the, the foot portion. 
I'm sorry, the leg portion. Okay, couple, couple pages. Okay. okay, row 11 is a little funky. And this is where I sometimes have to frog my work and try again, but we're gonna try together. So back over here in our working yarn. How's it twisted? Don't get it twisted. Okay, we're going to start. Oh, okay, this, the way the pattern was written, it says to start with half double crocheting across and then um, decrease in this little corner and then half double crochet across and then end with a decrease. You can either end with the decrease over here or you can start with the decrease. The point is we're gonna have decreases right on these two edges right here on both sides because we need 24 stitches for the leg and the way this is created, if we would be able to add more stitches to make it a little bit wider. So we are going to see if I'm gonna look at it and see if I need to start with a decrease or end. I'm gonna start with a decrease. So I'm going to, let me see. If I decrease over these two, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Decrease. 12. No, 11. Yeah, decrease over those two, which would be 12. And then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So no, that's not going to work. So that guy over there. Okay, I got it. We need 24 stitches. So I'm going to start, and it's going to be a little bit different for everybody based on where you slip stitch your, um, to get this going. So we're just going to do it together. It's fine. And also this yarn, you're not going to be able to tell because it's fluffy, fluffy. So we're going to start with a decrease. I'm going to insert my hook into, I'm going to make a spot here. I'm going to put my yarn over because it's a half double crochet decrease. And I'm going to just kind of shove it in. Maybe. Okay. Perfect. And then grab my yarn. Now we're talking. And then go into the top of this stitch here. I guess I yarn over again, don't I? Consistency. Okay. And then finish out the stitch. Boom. That's one. We're going for 24. So then we're going to have to double crochet across the top of the heel. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. See you later, Anthea. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so now. I'm going to put my 12th one here, 12, and then I'm going to decrease over this weird thing here. Get in there. Sometimes I got to close my eyes. I can feel it. I can feel it trying to go in there. Let me get it in. It's like, yeah, okay. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go right here. Under one little loop, maybe. Okay, we're just gonna go there because I can't get it all the way through. And then we're gonna go into this guy right here. So, run over again, go into this next open guy right here. And that's where we're placing our decrease. And I think, I think this, well, Lord have mercy, this is number 14. All the way through. Okay. I'm going to do that again. Looks a little sloppy. Okay. One more time. I think this is a little close to my face. Okay. So, yarn over. I wonder if I can go there. Nope. Okay. Right to there. Hopefully, it doesn't stay sloppy. Grab my yarn, pull up a loop. That's what I did. That's what I did wrong. Okay. There we go. Now we can pull through all of them. Keeping it nice and tight. 
perfect. That should be 14. We should have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Anyone, how, how y'all doing with your edges? 22 with your corners. 23 and then, well, that gone it. 24. Maybe I miscounted because now we've got too much space. I do this every time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Glorious day. 24 is the next one. Perfect. There we go. Join into the top of our first half double crochet, which was the decrease, the first little decrease that we did. And chain one. Phew! Hard part's over. Now we are going to do row 12, which is just one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Now the pattern says we should be up to 26 stitches instead of 24. And it also said to do half double crochet three together. I made this a very long time ago. Um, you can go, you can follow this. This works. You can follow this if this is easier for you. There's a video for it. If you want to watch me do it on video, I made it work on video. It all works. Sometimes when I remake my things, I just tweak it a little bit. Um, so we're tweaking it here together. Um, but we're at 24 because I don't, I don't think it needs to be more than the foot. I've been making a lot of stockings and I've been trying, I've been keeping them the same and I think that looks better. So we're gonna keep it at 24. And we're just gonna keep going. So we're gonna half double crochet one time in each stitch all the way around for a total of 24. I'm gonna start right where I joined. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and then after this row, we'll be at a bobble row. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. See you later, Angie. Thank you, Jessica. She's just a Gracie doll made with blanket yarn. So same pattern, just blanket yarn, 23 and 24. There is a blog post, though, about her um, on my blog. You too, Angie. Thank you. Join into the top of our first half double crochet. And chain one. And now we're going to turn our work. Excellent. It's looking good. Now we have a single bobble row. Let me make sure I'm staying with the pattern here. It looks so tiny with the worsted white yarn. And you can also go smaller. Like you could do one or two, number two or number one yarn um, and make it even smaller. It'd be super cute. So we are on row 13. Scrabtastic wants to know how everyone's bobble or stockings are turning out. So we're going to single crochet and then we're going to bobble. One, two, three, and four. Pull through. Excellent. 
single for do that all the way around single bobble single bobble I'm fixing to turn on my fan get to these bobbles I tell you what I'm getting sweaty I'm making me sweaty has a remote Gabe's got me all kinds of fancy up in here I would like to remind you guys that we will be doing a giveaway at the end, but I do apologize that it's taking so long. <sighs> I am a chatter. I am a chitty chatter. If I was just watching Christmas movies and not talking, it would be much faster. Three and four. Another way that you can make it faster is leave off the bobbles. You could replace the bobble single rows and just do half double crochets. I need to get some blanket yarn. I have a class at the yarn store later, so I'll pick it up. That sounds fun. What kind of class, Tess? You teaching or partaking? Melody can relate to Angie. She hates using blanket yarn. It's so hard on her hands. Looking for looking good so far. How long? Going to be a long one, huh? Yeah, they probably all will be. I try, I try to keep them under an hour in my mind, and then it literally never happens that way. You could probably use Chanel yarn if you like that better than blanket yarn, or just a chunky like, um, like thinking or was it Woolies? I think it was Anthea that said she liked Woolies. You could use like a Woolies yarn if you're not loving the chunky blanket yarn. You could use faux fur, it would just be really hard to see. You could do a, an entire stocking with faux fur, leave off the bobbles, and just do everything in half double crochet. That would be really pretty. Maybe I'll release that one here. It's going to be the exact same pattern, but made with blanket yarn. I can't teach. Not that good. I'm partaking. We are needle felting on an ornament. Are you going by yourself or are you making a thing of it and taking your gal pals? That sounds like so much fun. You may notice that I have the same coffee cup of water that I had yesterday. Happy holidays. Like holla, holla at your girl. Um, and you might be thinking, I wonder if she washed that and filled it with fresh water in between her lives. Nope. Not only did I not wash it, this is yesterday's water. Because it was already here, and I said, "Let me use that." We don't waste things in the Stallsworth house. We'll go with that. My friend had to work. Oh, next time, you'll you'll have enough fun for the both of you. Is it at like Michaels? I wonder. I bet my Michaels has classes like that. I have some friends that are like a little bit crafty that they might enjoy something like that. <laughs> Ariel loves my old water. <laughs> it tastes is fine. You can't even taste the dust that might have fallen into it. It's good for my immune system. Good old dust in my water. Maybe tomorrow I will get a fresh cup. <laughs> oh, oh, come on now. We were vibing. Three and four. Almost done with this row. Single crochet. Again, I just want to say, if you are, have made any of my patterns that include the bobble stitch, you need to turn your work before and after every bobble row. And that will help your bobbles pooch out naturally on the correct side. At least for me. I don't know if your bobbles pooch out differently than the way mine does, but you want your bobbles to pooch out naturally on the correct side. Okay, why am I ending with a single crochet? Or am I supposed to squeeze two more in there? One, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Yep, yeah, squeeze in two more. 23. And then want to bobble in this last little space for 24. Three, 
three and there you go, and Andrea. That's the that's the secret. I actually drank an entire bottle of water yesterday. Gabe bought me a fancy water filter. Okay, thanks, Sierra. She's coming in hot with some advice on the lights. Um, Gabe got me a fancy water filter for our anniversary, which was a couple days ago. Joined into the top of our first stitch, which was a single crochet, and I've been drinking water every day since. Yesterday I had a bottle full, which was like 16 ounces, plus whatever I drank here live with you guys. Chain one and turn your work. Half double crochet 24. I'm going to do that for three rows. Did anybody choose to go in the camel hop? I want to tell you a secret of something that I had in my mind. I haven't even told Thier yet. I did tell Mackenzie because she was here when it popped into my head. First, before I tell the secret, bobbles are giving her forearms a workout for sure. I'm sweating because of the bobble. Oh, because of the bobbles. We are going to be, people are like, wow, do you work out? And like, no, I bobble. So I have an idea for Christmas 2024, but I, I think I would have to do it in November because of crochetmas. Like, we can't do this instead of crochet is my idea. It's a really big idea, you guys. I don't even know if I'll be able to pull it off, but I hope that I can. Let me know what you think. So, first, what I'll do is release a pattern for a die, like dice. Like, if you're playing, like playing dice, release a pattern for a crochet dice, die. And then, after that's been live for like a week or something, and it's November, probably, we could probably do it like near the end of November. I'm not sure. What I want to do is a crochet Christmas stocking challenge, like a crochet along challenge where we make a stocking together, but they're mystery stockings and everybody's will be different. And it will come with like a chart that will tell you so you'll roll your dice and then whatever number you land on, you look at the chart and that's what you do for the next row. Like maybe one of the rows will say half double crochet. And then the next, like one, like number one would just be half double crochet. And then number two would be single bobbles. And then number three would be puff stitch single crochet. And then, and then our bobble, our stockings would be very unique from one another but all like similar, I think it could be really fun. Let me know what you think. I like keeping the rows above the heel to 24 stitches instead of 26, which is gonna give you much more consistent shape, plus one less bobble per row. I hear ya. I hear what you're saying. I don't, I mean, I think originally when I switched to, um, like this was being skinnier than the foot. So I, I went up to 26. So if you're if your leg is skinnier than your foot portion and it looks funny, go up to 26. And then if if not, keep it at 24. That sounds like a fun challenge. Oh, that's cool, natural creations. Okay, okay, people are loving it. Excellent. I think it could be really fun. Now, should we do it live? Because it would just be like I could do mine live. Or we could keep it just in the, e sorry, or we could keep it just in our email only. Or, yeah, those are the only two options. Either lives, because I'm not making a new Facebook group. That is just too complicated. Lives or email only. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think we could get away with email only. And every morning, I'll show like a picture of mine. or. We could just do it on Instagram and just share about it every day. I could post my, I could roll my, for mine and then make the thing, my two rows or whatever the dice said to do and make that my Instagram post for the day. Could be a precursor to crochet miss. That's what I was thinking. I don't know if I need to go live because I'll just be doing mine and you guys will all be doing yours separately. Like everybody's dice would give them different numbers. 
do it live so we can share our creations as our hashtag. That would be fun. I do enjoy lives, but it would be, um, I don't know if I could swing it all through November and all through December with all the lives. I don't know if I could swing it. Lives are my favorite. <clears throat> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. They're my favorite to do, and they're easy for me <clears throat> because I enjoy them so much. Like some people really don't like going live, and I enjoy them. And they're I can just turn it on and get going. Like there's no planning out or proofreading or editing. It's just live and natural and raw. That's why I like lives. Maybe live on Instagram. That's a good idea, Kim. If I did it live on Instagram, you wouldn't have to see my face. So I wouldn't have to put makeup on. We do another row of half double crochets. Because it would just be my hands on Instagram. So I could just go live and share show mine. I think I can have other people pop in to a live with me on Instagram. And you could show yours. Maybe... Um, Every day we can pop on one person and they can show theirs. And then maybe on the last day we can do a, a live and like pop on a lot of people one at a time and show their stockings. Maybe it would be an Instagram challenge. Love the idea. Love that idea. There will be an email list group for it. So I can send out freebies, of course. Maybe even reminders or updates with what mine looks like currently. It could work. I think it'd be really fun. I love your live now. Sharon, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I go live every week on YouTube for Ask Ashley. They've been on Wednesdays, but we might be changing them um, come 2024. We might be changing them. But I do, I love lives. Like, even if I'm not able to work one week because the life is so hectic with homeschool and stuff, I can still go live. Lives are, lives are my favorite thing to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Excellent. Now we've got another bobble row. Bobble, baby, bobble, baby, bobble, baby, bobble. Okay, I do love the bobble stitch. I know it's a little bit of a workout. But I love it. I think she's beautiful. Bingle in the first stitch. And then bobble in the next stitch. All the way around. And notice I did change, turn my work. Mar Maria, Mariah is not on Instagram. So, Christina, we're chaining and turning, or chaining and joining, joining and chaining each round. So if I was going in the actual round where I did not chain and join, I'm sorry, join and chain, I would use, like if it was a continuous round, I would use stitch markers, but where I'm not, each row has an end. That's why I'm not using them. Is that three or four? One, two, three, four. But I do get lost when I'm in the round, for sure. Even when I'm like just crocheting by myself and I'm not doing a live, I for sure would have a stitch marker. Could also do a second die, one in red, one in green. And the red could be stitch and the green could be color. Okay, that's fun. I think I will probably let the colors, like it would be like colors one through, it would have to be colors one through six, I guess. Um, but I'll probably let people do their own color because some of them would probably be stellar solid color. And some of them will be pretty with like multiple colors. Mine would probably be multiple colors because I'm a multiple color gal. But I think solid would be really, really pretty too. Are we just going to, where are we at? I think we went through our list. I'm going to start it over again. Skipping the one rock, the one weird rock Christmas song that's in this list. Oh, this is the one with the guitar. Oh, well, we'll do it this time. You hear that? I am on row, yes, row 13.
Um, I was saying though, I do think a solid color stocking with all the different textures in the stitches would be so pretty. Like linen or cream would be beautiful. Also, I have an idea for next year's crochet mess. Um, and I won't spill the tea on that one. I'll keep that one to myself, but I'm going to try to make it better next year. Even like not just adding music better because I think adding the music has made this one better. Well, my hint will be more community based. We'll let that be my hint. And so Maria said, not Maria, Mariah, like Mariah Carey, said that she's not on Instagram. So I would have to, I don't know if I can download an Instagram live to upload to YouTube. Sierra, can you Google that for me real quick? We can. We can save our lives. Is it like used to, you could only save it right after. You remember? And there wasn't a way to go after it goes, after the replay goes live, there wasn't a way. But we could like, we could um, use a third party service or something to get it if we needed to. So I could go live on Instagram just to make my two rows or one row. And then save that and post it to YouTube. The only thing is, it will be vertical formatting. So I, but I could make a really pretty like um, border around it. We could do that. How about Instagram and Facebook? So I, I won't be doing two at a time because that is very stressful to me. But I can share it to Facebook. But I think I will share the replay to. YouTube. Can we still see the first day? Yes, you can, Jasmine. They will all be live here on YouTube as for a replay. Okay, you can only do it right after your, your thing goes live. Okay, I can do that. I think that would be really fun. Look how cute this is looking. Can't even stand it. It's so cute and chunky. Also, if the bobbles are killing you, you could just do, you know how we do four of the little sections before we pull through all, you could just do three. Let me show you what three would look like. You're like, now you tell me. So that's what three, this is three and pull through all. And then if I did a single crochet after it. So it's it's just one less. See how it's just a smidgy smaller. So you could go that route if the bobbles are absolutely killing you. Or you could just leave them off. Just do half double crochets. And Boy, thanks, Sierra, for grabbing that link. My plan is to upload the, or to link the replays in my blog post for Crochet Miss. And I forgot to do that yesterday, so I will try to do that today. So they're all saved at acraftyconcept.com forward slash Crochet Miss. Okay. One more bobble. And then we got some... Oh, I think this is, okay, we're on, this is our last bobble row. Glorious day. This is our last bobble row. <laughs> I tell you three bobbles away that you could just do three instead of four. You're welcome. I'm so glad I could help you in that way. <laughs> Join into the top. Chain one and turn our work. Look at it. Look how fun it is. Can you see it on this side? Look how cute. Ah, oh, I love it. Now we are on row 14. 14 through 16. Oh no. The pattern says there's one more bobble, but we're gonna leave it off. I messed this one up. The pattern says row 17 is also a bobble, but I don't think it's necessary. I guess if you I guess we can do it because it does look a little stumpy. Do you think he looks a little stumpy? It's up to you. If you want it to be a little bit longer, you can do another bobble row. And then a more single. I really cut this one off, didn't I? I don't even have any of the minis with me. We're not going to do it for this video because it's taken forever. So we're going to cut it a little bit smaller um, for the sake of the video. So we're going to end after row 16. That's when we're going to start our puff or our brim. So we're just going to do 24 half double crochets all the way around for rows 14, 15, and 16. I can't wait to show you my little um, 
what I found out at the end. I was I watched a replay of the first day, so I was hoping to use that as a reference. Yes, absolutely. I would share I'll share a funny story with you. Someone on Instagram, you might be hanging out today. The bobble stitch is beginning to be one of my favorites. I, I think she's got personality. I really do. Um, one of the girls on Instagram messaged me and they were like, I was watching the replay and my toddler came in and I accidentally turned it on to a slower speed because you can adjust the playback speed on the replay. You can't do it for the live, but you can do it for the replay and you can make it slower or faster depending upon your crochet needs. And she accidentally made it slower and she was watching it for about 20 minutes on a slower speed. And she thought that I was drunk because I sounded funny because it was in slow, like slow speed. And I thought that was hilarious. And now I need to go do that myself so I can see exactly what it is she heard. Um, but she she was like, this is not on brand for Ashley. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness, that would have, that's, I can only imagine what was going through her mind. Funny, funny stuff. Oh, but what I was gonna say is I can't wait to show you what I found out after I made this, this stocking here, the red one. You're gonna love it. Okay, let me count. No, I need one more. Okay. Two more rows of half double crochets and then we're gonna start our brim. And I'm not gonna make the hooky on camera either because of the sake of time. Can't even believe how long this is taking. Sierra, I'm sorry. If you ever need to skip out, Sierra, just go ahead. Maybe, what is tomorrow's? A slipper. We're using blanket yarn again tomorrow. So for those of you who are not digging the blanket yarn, that was, I didn't think that out all the way, putting the blanket yarn days in a row like that. I apologize. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow we're making a crafty boho slipper and I'm going to do the toddler size, which is the smallest one. So hopefully it will go by fairly quickly. But they are from sizes toddler all the way up to men's. And then you can easily get in between sizes just by changing your hook. So a bazillion sizes for the boho slipper. And I think I'm gonna make mine pink, glittery pink. Not this glittery pink, a different, like a florally looking. And after this, we will do one more. It should be 24. One more row of half double crochets. And then we also have to do our giveaway. It's gonna be fun. Ooh, glorious day. It's a little difficult. I'm crocheting on the table with this guy's fighting me. Blanket yarn is hurting my hands. I'm going to just use worsted and it will be smaller. For the stocking, Claire, or for the slipper? For the slipper, I, I wouldn't use worsted. Let me tell you why. Uh, for the slipper, you want it to be um, durable. And worsted weight yarn, like acrylic worsted weight yarn, is not durable for a slipper, and your slipper might fall apart on you. The blanket yarn is very, very durable. You might could use Bernat Home Decor yarn if you had that, Claire, um, because it is stronger than worsted weight yarn. You can look up Bernat Home Decor and see if you've got anything similar to that. That would probably work well. But you don't want anything that's weak. For a slipper now if you made the toddler size slipper with worsted weight yarn and like a g or h hook it's going to be teensy and it could be for a baby like a little baby like a six to twelve month baby and those don't have to be durable because those babies aren't walking yet the little baby ones so you could do that and that could be something that you could add to your shop so that would be very fun and now i want to try that i want to do that now instead of the, the blanket yarn. Let me know. Do you guys want me to make 
a toddler size with blanket yarn tomorrow or make the whole pattern with worsted weight yarn and see what happens. It'd be an experiment together. Um, one, two, three. Now we are going to, we're going to go ahead and add our yarn, our brim yarn. Yes. So two rows of half double crochet with our faux fur. So I'm going to clip my blanket yarn and switch to my faux fur. Oh, let me see. I can't get this in the pool this time. I think I'll put this, this in the pool and it's just going to do that sometimes. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not. It's not this in the pool anyway. So you can just, you can just push over here. I'm going to find it. There we go. There she is. Much better. Now we are going to join our yarn, but we're going to grab our faux fur instead of our blanket yarn. So I'm just leaving the tail long enough to sew in, grab my faux fur, and pull it through and chain one. Then you can kind of give those a tug and hide them down in there. And we're going to half double crochet 24 stitches all the way around. Now the blanket yarn is harder to see. You got to feel it. But you can easily feel it if you try hard enough. It's And then once you get used to it, it's really not that hard. I love faux fur yarn. I think it's such a unique looking thing. And people, it's it's a wow factor, I think. Uh, yes, Christina, Ask Ashley will be at the same two o'clock time, but it will be a crochet mess instead of an Ask Ashley. But you're welcome to ask questions while we're crocheting together. I can try to do both. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want me to make a blanket yarn slipper tomorrow that was originally planned? Or would you rather I use worsted weight yarn and try to make a baby slipper? Crafty Boho Santa slipper for babies, really little. Let me know. Still use faux fur though, but it would be a tiny faux fur. I have Lion Brand Mandela yarn in the colorway Niffler. I'm going using for a stocking now. Ooh, y'all have to show me that. I'm not familiar with the yarn or colorway, but so you'll definitely have to show me. Maybe I'll do a poll over on Instagram and ask if they if we everybody wants worsted weight slippers or um just do blanket yarn slippers. Okay, I'm gonna have to count my stitches, but that should be 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 19, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Glorious. Okay, going into the top of our first fluffy half double crochet. Pull it through, chain one, and then do it one more time. 24 half double crochets. The baby, oh my gosh, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, baby slipper ornaments. That was going to be my first thought, Abigail, before I realized that you could probably put it on a baby. But yeah, ornaments could be really cute too. I think we should do it. I think we should do worsted weight yarn. So I'll um, update the email before it goes out. Um, it's not scheduled anyway. And I will make a sample today so that it's not, because if it doesn't work, I'd hate for it to not work on camera. You know what I mean? And then, but it, I don't know if I should show you it or not. Maybe we should just do it. Thank you, Elizabeth. I love hot pink and white faux fur. I think they look so pretty together. Maybe we should um, just do it live together or should I share a picture of it? I'm going to do... Worsted weight yarn, uh, yarn be soft and sleek for the body. This is for tomorrow's pattern. And then red heart huga fur yarn. Oh, it would, Sharon. You can make a stocking or you can do some slippers. The slippers make excellent gifts, especially to, for like kids. Like so kids, I have some kids in my family that have so many toys. It's just unbelievable. And I wanted to get them something different. And I already gave them all slippers. No, just work up a sample and then show us during the live. I hear you, Amy. I, I like surprises too. I think I will work one up today if I get a chance. I was working on the rainbow ornament. That's for day um, seven or six. Because that one is also brand new. And it was just an idea that should work in theory. Um, but it's looking pretty good. So I don't know. Fingers crossed on that one. If that doesn't work, I can do a different rainbow ornament. So I, got, I got multiple ideas. Hang on, I'll turn the music back on. I can't get it into join into my top of my stitch. The fur is in the way. Gotta give it, gotta give it some wiggles. Okay. 
Now, going to the top and chain one. Now, let me see what we need to do here. Two rows, just like that. I think we're going to be, are we turning our work? Yes. We are going to turn our work this time. And now we are going, sorry. Now we are going to half double crochet in the back loop only. So if you remember when we were looking at, you're looking at the top of your stitches and it's hard to see with the faux fur. So we're going to use our yesterday Santa. I showed it at the beginning, but just in case we need a little refresher. This is under both loops. That's under both loops. This is the front loop because it's closest to my person. And this is the back loop because it's furthest from me. We are going to be going in the back loop only with our faux fur yarn. You say, Ashley, I can't see it. I know. But guess what? They also can't see it if you mess up. So it's a win-win. But you can feel it. You can easily feel the Vs that are there. So we're just going to half double crochet. It's just this one row. In the back loop only for 24 stitches. And you can use a stitch marker if you need to. Okay. That's one. The first one's probably going to be the hardest. Two. And I did turn my work before this row. Okay. And three. Four. So we left off a bunch of rows, like four rows, to the leg portion of this pattern. And you can do that for the worsted weight version as well. If you aren't, if you want it to be a little bit faster, you can leave off those rows and make it a little bit smaller. Smaller is cute. Like, it's always cute. So if, if you're ever choosing, should I make it bigger or smaller? And it's already supposed to be a small thing, go for smaller. Because you're going to be able to make it faster. You're going to use less materials. It's just better all around if you're selling them specifically or you need to gift like a ton of them. And tomorrow we will make worsted weight little tiny slippers. It's going to be so freaking cute. I wouldn't recommend them for babies that are like just learning how to walk. But you could definitely put them on babies that don't walk, that are just like sitting in their car seat or the baby being worn or something, almost like socks. You could call them slipper socks because these will most certainly make a baby just learning how to walk mess up. So I don't think that would be very safe. Gabe's going to come home and he's going to look, wow, you're still alive. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I am a talker. Okay. Maybe small and use an ornament with a gift card. That would be a very sweet baby's first Christmas gift. It would make a cute stocking ornament. I love the idea of stocking ornaments and stocking tassels. We're going to be making stocking tassels together. Um, I think it's day eight. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. I love that idea. I haven't made one yet. <laughs> be doing it. I'll make one before the live, but... Um, I have a really good idea, so it should work fine, no problem. And then after we do this row, we have two more rows, I think, of half double crochets with our faux fur. And then she's done. And then we're going to do our giveaway, and I'm going to show you the funny thing that I figured out. I don't know if this is 24 or 25, so I'm going to count one, two. I got a feel on them. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Yes, so that one is done. And then join into the top. Okay. Oh, whoa, we're all twisted. She is and chain one. Okay, two more rows of half double crochets. Not in the back loop this time, just regular 
Actually, I think it's three, two or three. We'll see. So half, 24 half double crochets, but we're not turning our work. We're still staying in the same direction. With the faux fur, it really wouldn't matter if you wanted to turn your work, but it mattered on the previous row because we need it to fall towards the front. So that's why we turned it and did back loop only. I think it falls prettier back loop only than with front loop only, but you could have done that if you didn't want to turn it. Might have to get a little bit more focused for the yarn or the faux fur version. Fur fur version. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Toby. We're getting ready to do the giveaway, which is a notebook today, open internationally. Okay. Hopefully the faux fur is at least better on your all's hands. They're struggling with the blanket yarn. Okay, I think I'm at the beginning now. Is this the beginning? Yes, it is. Okay, I don't even know if that's the correct number of stitches. I feel like I might have missed one. We're just going to go for it. Is it? I can't be... Okay. Okay. I gotta just feel it out. The good news is, though, nobody else can tell. If you can't tell, nobody else can tell. Let's do one more and see if that's enough. I'm going to count this time. One, two, three, four, five. How are we doing on sound? Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, how are we doing on sound? 16, 17, Chastity said it's fine. 17, 18, Nineteen, good. Okay, twenty. I think that was just a weird song. Twenty-one. I mean, we're all caught up here. We're way off. Definitely need to count with your faux fur. Twenty-two. Well, I think I'm only one off. Twenty-three. I'll just shove another one in there. Twenty-four. Okay, join into the top of our first. I think it was just this song. And I can give it to them again. There. Two rows of half double crochet so far, Andrea. Yes. We're going to see if we need another one. Chain one. Okay, so now we're going to just fold this over. And it, where, it, where the back loop only was, it's going to naturally fold. So that's what I think we're going to do one more. We're going to do one more row of half double crochets. I'm going to adjust my I think I'm going to try to do it over here because I cannot count. Sierra, do you want to make me full screen with um, this one and turn off the other one for a second? I'm going to move this out of the way. Thank you, girlfriend. Okay, so I'm just going to do it one more time. One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. How are we doing with the music? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. Don't even know where where I'm at. Is I don't know where I'm at. I think I didn't make it. I was way off that time. Just gonna keep going to lay it there. It's weird with the faux fur, and I'm, I already messed up because I was chatting, and then now I'm just gonna be messed up unless I frogged it, but I'm not gonna frog it. I'm gonna join it to the top. Okay. And pull it up, make sure we got enough room. Yes. Oh, look how pretty she looks. Okay, excellent. Now we can cut our yarn. Sew in all your fun tails with a tapestry needle and make your hooky and attach it on the inside. I'm not going to do it here for the sake of time, but it is in the video for this pattern and all my other stocking patterns if you want to check it out. But look how cute. I love it. So chunky and fun. Oh, I love it so much. I love hot pink and white together. I think they're so pretty. It's beautiful. Thank you. I haven't really noticed the music. It's kind of finicky, but love the idea of it. Let's see. Sierra, you'll have to give me some feedback too on your end about how you're hearing the music. But that is what we've got. Now, let me show you what I figured out. After I made this one for this video for practice, this one was made with Burnett pet yarn which i don't think exists anymore it's a slightly um thinner yarn blanket yarn but look at this oh. isn't that cute a little half sock it was a complete accident about this one made with the blanket yarn wow very chunky it's giving it's giving cindy luhu vibes if I was going to make these as socks, I would not do the bobbles on the bottom. I would just do the bottoms on the top, bobbles on the top, if I was going to make them as socks. But tell me that's not fun. These are so fun as socks. Wait, wait. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, I wear a size two in kids. So I don't know how many people these will fit. And it wasn't intentional, it was an accident, but it turned out really fun. This one, I will say is tighter for some reason than this one is, maybe my tension was just different. I did use a different hook for this one because it was a smaller yarn. I love how chunky this is, but I would leave off these bottom bobbles. So you would have to like count and line them up with your heel to leave off those bottom bobbles. So fun and chunky. It is a little bit big. This one fits a little better. But I do have really small feet, so I don't know if it will fit everybody. You might have to adjust them, and I'm not releasing that pattern. I don't like releasing things that have sizes because they stress me out. Um, but if you're, you're welcome to tweak it because I think it's fun. I think it's very fun. Okay, let's do our giveaway, Sierra. We don't need to use that other screen. I think we're good. So you're going to want to make and attach your hooky. The instructions are in the free pattern on my blog. And there is also a video to help you do that. And then if you were to hang them on your mantle, they will be so cute. I'll try to post a picture on Instagram so you can see what it looks like hanging on a mantle. Okay, back to the giveaway. Today's giveaway is this little fun notebook that says yarn is a girl's best friend. And it's got different color yarn balls and it's just plain notebook paper on the inside. 
This is open internationally. Wherever you live, I will send it to you via the mail. So the giveaway, here's how the giveaway works. I'm going to pop up the phrase for you. And after you see the phrase, you're going to type the phrase exactly word for word in the, the comment section. And then I'm going to wait like two minutes. So do it as fast as you can to make sure that you are able to enter. And then I'm going to hit a draw and it's going to magically pick the winner. And I'm going to share the screen so you guys can see it um, happening. So let me. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen so you can see. There it is. And you see both of us. Wait, 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 wait. You don't want to see. You don't want to see this guy. There we go. Thanks, Sierra. We want to see it like this. This is what we want. Okay. That is the code. Hashtag Jumbo. Type in hashtag Jumbo in the comment section. And that is going to be your entry. This is only for live people hanging out live with us today. If you're catching the replay, unfortunately, I'm not able to get your entries taken. But you can see the entry numbers going up. We're at 12 right now. So go ahead and hashtag Jumbo to get entered to win Yarn is a Girl's Best Friend Notebook. Oh, that doesn't work. Sad. Okay, we've got 28 entries, but we've got 54 people watching. So I'm going to wait just like another minute. I think I can set a, a timer. I think maybe it's only at the beginning. I can set a timer, though, through this thing. That would be fun. I can hold it up on my iPad. <laughs> Go ahead and hashtag Jumbo. We're at 31 people are entered. After I hit draw yesterday, there was more people trying to enter. So I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. If you're crocheting and you want to enter, you got to do it really quickly to win the Yarn is a Girl's Best Friend notebook. And tomorrow, I don't know when I'm going to wait. I just make it up every day. I make it up as I go. Okay, I'm going to wait till my clock. When my clock turns to 12.07. It's at 12.06 right now. When it turns to 12.07, we will do the draw. I've almost drank all of my water. There's like a sip left. So tomorrow's water will be fresh. Where are we at? 33. Okay, we're going to go ahead and draw because it's been at 33 for a while. So here we go. Dun, da, da, da. Who is our winner? Who is our winner? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Heather, yay, congratulations, Heather. We're going to need your address, your shipping address. So if you can email support at a crafty concept, Sierra is coming in hot with the banner for you. Support at a crafty concept, that is Sierra. She will get your address from you. Send her your address. She will give it to me. And then I will ship this out in tomorrow's mail. Megan, if you're watching, your giveaway prizes went out this morning. Gabe put them in the mailbox this morning. So those should be to you within a couple of days. Um, Heather, I'm also going to include one of my family's Christmas cards. I think it's just a nice touch. So I will include that as well um, as a little, little treat. Thank you guys for being here, for hanging out. I'm sorry it took over two hours. Okay? I don't know what's going on. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I will see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a little later in the day. We get to sleep in a little bit, maybe. Still got to go to church. But tomorrow's a really busy day for me. So it's very important that I do not take forever tomorrow. So keep your fingers crossed for me that I'm able to stick to a schedule. Okay? And we're going to make little baby slippers. So we're mixing it up. And I will fix it in the email so you guys have the correct supplies needed and such just gonna wing it cross your fingers that it goes well thanks for being here thanks for hanging out thanks for posting on instagram and tagging me using the hashtag crochet miss 2023 you guys are amazing i will see you tomorrow three o'clock p.m eastern standard time have a great day